<clears throat> Assalamualaikum and greetings, Zalishan Mahir, and welcome to my little main cave. Today, I am building the Ishin air loader with a pusher configuration, and I thought, you know, because I'm alone at home with uh, two kitties, and I thought that I would just make it a live session. And everybody can watch me build the Ishin air loader. And I'm going to build a pusher configuration, single motor pusher configuration. So I'll show you everything as it goes. This is a live show. I will make mistakes. You'll watch. You'll enjoy. And um, yeah, watch everything. Enjoy this live show and watch me build this plane. And we'll also talk about the things that I'm feeling good and bad about this plane and uh, how everything is going on. So let's get to work. Unfortunately, <coughs> sorry, I have got a cough recently and I've been taking medicine. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. Um, bad word. I forgot to drink my medicine. Let me show you the medicine I have been drinking and just one week. I mean, when I started drinking that medicine, I started taking that medicine. My cough was really bad, infected throat with green venom. But after that, three days of use of that medicine, mm, look at me. I'm good. One moment. I'll be right back. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm here. Check this out. What is this? All in Chinese. But this is traditional Chinese medicine made with lots of herbs and, uh, and sometimes we found some insect skins as well. <laughs> After drinking this, it doesn't, it, it does work, not doesn't, it does work. So um, let me not just disturb the live show. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'll drink it later. I'll, I'll delay it because anyway, I'm feeling good. Just a little bit of cough. So unfortunately, when I started building, I didn't have plan to go live and I thought, you know, I'll just build it and fly it and make a video and let everybody see. But then I thought, hey, why not just make it a live show? Anyways, the internet is running all the time. Why waste the internet? And uh, just make it a live show so everybody can see how I'm building. And in the meantime, I'll be able to talk about good and bad things that I'm facing while building the Ishin air loader. And I'll be able to show it right here clearly i mean i cannot hide anything because it's a live show and uh, out there are some people who are wondering if i really hide things in my videos uh, well you will find out i don't i do honest and clear reviews so sorry for that uh as i shown you in my video uh, yesterday there was a 3m tape on the rudder right here so all i needed to do is take peel that uh you know cover and stick it here run this cable down here so i have two cables elevator and rudder both servos are already installed now yeah this is the thing when you get the kit uh there are no servos installed in the kit and you have to install the servos but uh fortunately i got two of the ishin air loaders excuse me my eyes uh, still have water yeah i had a very very bad cold man uh caught a bad cold and uh, then turned into a bad cup, but I wonder I'm getting better. A little bit of uh, crying is still going on. So uh, I received, yeah, two kits and one is complete kit without anything. And another one just came with servos. Imagine that servos and two forward motor mounts, as I've shown in the video with motors already installed. No, yes is nothing. So I'll be able to show you what I'm using at the same time. <clears throat> so rather than installed, now I gotta go install the motor, which should be easy. Should I bring the camera closer so you can see? Uh, well, the cable is not very long, but it's worth a try. Yeah, come on, this little cramp room. Oh man. So let me hold the camera, take the cable. Ooh, ah, don't drop things. Don't get disconnected. That's the best I can do here. But now I have a problem. 
And that is, if my kitties see these cables hanging, they're just going to play and drop the camera. Which is not going to be a good thing. So let's just adjust the camera a little higher. And I hope this is going to be a good view. Please don't drop. It's a very, very temporary setup of the camera. So <laughs> I'm not sure if it will drop or not, but uh, I might be able to just put a zip tie on it, possibly. Okay, that is a good view. What do you think, right? Okay, good view, good view, nice. So I have here a sunny sky x2212-9 kv1402 this motor okay and i'm gonna use this <coughs> um very easy to do that and the screws are already supplied nice nice good screws supplied already and installing the motor should be piece of cake. So I hope you have the right view. Now, because the screws are going in the wood, I cannot over tighten them because they might slip. And once the screws are slipped in the wood, they will not hold its place. But there is a solution to that. You can easily resolve that situation by putting in some kind of AB glue and reinstalling the screw again. <clears throat> so, done. Okay, that's that's a spray screw. I thought why I missed a screw. So what's up? What's up, baby? So <laughs> this hatch always opens, by the way. When you have a motor, the hatch will automatically open with a little flick. So <laughs> you have to <coughs> make sure to install the top hatch screw, which should be man, I am really messy today. Um, damn it, kitties, did you take my screw again? Yesterday, uh, before yesterday, when I was recording the video for unboxing of Ishin Air Loader, I dropped the screw down, but that actually secures the hatch, and my kittens taken the screw away and hid it in my shoe. I mean, imagine that. Later, when I put my shoe on to go out, I found there was a screw in there. So... <laughs> That is very, very strange. Okay, I found one. Uh, there should be two, actually. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, it's here. Good. This time they didn't take it. So, you got to install this screw. Now, next step is to, yeah, ESC. Now, because I didn't have an ESC, and Banggood was very, very kind enough to send me this awesome ESC, check this out. This is the uh, ZTW 50 amp ESC. And because I'm using only 4S battery and I am not in the mood of doing soldering at the moment. So I thought I'll keep it for preparing the other Ishin air loader kit and use it in that kit, especially when I'm going to build the twin rotor and the three motor setup, then I'll use those ESCs. Right now, I found a fly color ESC, um, which I used to use in, I believe, in regular RS. So it's going to work for us. I'm going to connect it to the motor. For now, I just have to make connections, and later I will actually reverse the connections if I need. Now, here is one problem. Check this out. If your ESC is long, and if you want to use those two uh, cuts right here and here, 
to uh, hold secure the ESC, you don't have place for your flight controller here. It takes all the place for flight controller. So I will have to install the ESC this way to have the space for my flight controller. And I'll just leave this cable down there. These two cables right here are going to go for Y cable, yes. Um, unless you want to make a separate connection uh, of ailerons and use ailerons in some kind of mixing, uh, you can go for that, but I'm just gonna go a quick pusher motor setup, kind of setup which is exactly the way the PMP version is set up from available on Banggood. So here's the Y cable. Okay, Y cable installed. ESC power cable goes down. And if I open the hatch, I have the battery right here. Later I will secure the ESC. Right now I'm not securing it because I need to reverse the cables. I might need to reverse the cables to make sure the motor spins in the right direction. This is this. Where did I put that little screw? I'm just gonna put it right here for now. Okay, so this part is easy, super duper easy. Now comes the next part, an interesting one, the tailbone with the rudder and elevator installation. So yes, this should be easier as well. All you need to do is use the supplied screws, just like this. Um, put one screw in. By the way, I lock tightened these screws as well because I don't want anything to come loose or get loose during flight if there's a vibration on uh, due to the propeller imbalance. Now, in the kit came these two long uh, extensions. Servo extension, so I'm, I'm just gonna see which one is rudder. This is rudder. And uh, da, 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 let's mark one for rudder. So later I don't have to, you know, experiment with uh, cables, which one is rudder and which one is um, elevated. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see it now, I just write a little R right here. Okay? So. This is this. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I had to turn off the chatting because um, I have to build the plane and I cannot reply in the chat. So uh, no chatting today. Um, enjoy watching this live show. And if you have anything, you can always comment. So this is rudder and this is the rudder cable. Rudder servo. I'll install it. Now, because this goes inside the <coughs> inside the tube, uh, I mean inside this metal bar or metal boom, I would like to put some tape on it. Now, where where is my scissors? Scissors, come on over. Okay. Sometimes when you are doing installation, some cables get pulled, you know, and if these cables are running, uh, these connections and cables are running in uh, tail boom or in a tube like this, you should better, you know, put something like a tape on it. So later if something got pulled, you don't have to, you know, worry about things are going to disconnect. So this is the second one. I'm just gonna put a tape on it. It's gonna be a little bit of work to put things inside, but work is what I like. Man, I want some music. I want some music when I work, but 
uh, the YouTube, uh, how to say, copyright stuff. Mm, mm, I can't play it's some good music. So I managed to pull one cable out all the way. There's the, another cable. Now is the problem. It's not moving anymore. Where are you? I can see you right there. Okay, it moved. There it is. Why it's not equal? No, good enough. Now, where's the other screw? Uh, do not put the second screw on the tail, uh, otherwise you won't be able to put the cables in. <clears throat> so far, so good. No problems at all. Okay. I believe this is tight enough. So this is my elevator. And I still have to stick these two fins on this. Now, there is a good French follower who actually commented that, which I like his comment, that having to have these fins is good. But if you want to use full potential of uh, these fins, you might want to add a vortex generators on these. So I don't have any, but I plan to 3D print something and add one here and one here, kind of vortex generator. Uh, what kind of vortex generator? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I believe that uh, the French guy, thank you very much, he has a very, very good idea. Um, should I pick the camera up or should I bring that thing down? Well, I think I can just bring this one down easily. So this is what we are talking about. If you're looking at the uh, Rambler RS, see, these are like kind of vortex generator on a vertical fin. Right here are the vortex generators. One, two, three, four. So the idea was, one moment, let me hang the flame back up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm back. So the idea was to, uh, sorry, I have, I'm having the rash in my eyes again. So idea is that we should have such kind of vortex generators on these uh, fins to have almost 100% efficiency out of them, which I will, inshallah, do it, plan to do it and test it. So thank you very much for this tip, again, from that French follower. Is my live still alive? Yeah, the stream is still alive. Okay, this is this, and now we can connect it to the fuselage. Um, I hope you can see what's going on here. Uh, running the cables in first. So far, really, it is absolutely piece of cake to build it. Absolutely piece of cake to build it. Now, how tight this screw should be? I have no idea. First, I have to actually align it properly. I will not over tighten it anyway. 
because over tightening can be an issue. And yes, just give me a moment. I would like to talk about something here. This screw is not set properly. One moment. Nope, I have to make this, lose this, and set this one up properly. So that went very well. Hello, Kitty. Are you getting bored? Come on here. Say hello to YouTube. Hello. She's back. Why your paws are so cold, huh? Why your paws are so cold? Why your paws are so cold? I love my kitties, man. Two of them, they're always with me here. Oh, you're dropping hair. This means you need ah, some bath. Okay. Some nice shampoo as well. Maybe I'll give her Volvo shampoo. She's dropping hair. All right. So, so far looking good. And we have, oh, one moment. Meet the naughty one. Yeah, this one.